guys, this is iMovie How To showing you iMovie tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how you can use the precision editor and the clip trimmer. So let's first make a new project. We can go to File, New Project. And let's just make a simple project. Now, let's just drag a couple of clips into our project. So we can select part of this clip and drag it in. We can select part of this clip. And we select all of this clip by shift clicking on it. Now, let's first take a look at the precision editor. To get to that, you can either go to Window, Precision Editor, or you can click on the space in between the clips. So for my way of doing it, I'll just double click in between the clips. So here we are in the Precision Editor window. What the, what the Precision Editor does is allows you to add transitions in these spots and it allows you to add time to this clip, add time, or move time to the clip. So how this works is this clip corresponds to this clip and this clip down here corresponds to that clip. And you can adjust. So let's say you need footage from right here. And with the precision editor you can just easily drag that there and it'll offset it by negative 0.7 seconds or how many ever seconds you need. Just like if you need if you want, if you want you to see like more, more of the bridge in this clip, you can just drag it over like here. And it'll offset it, for example, two or three or how, however many seconds you need. And just like the clip trimmer, which I'll show you later, there are these two arrow buttons, which takes you to the clips before it and the clips after it. So now, we can look at the clip trimmer. To reveal the clip trimmer, you must select one of the clips. So, so if, if I deselect one of the clips, you see what clip trimmer will be faded out. If you select one clip, the clip trimmer will appear. Even if you select multiple clips, the clip trimmer will not appear. It only works for one individual clip. So now we can go to Window, Clip Trimmer. So here you can select which part of the clip you want to trim. So you can just adjust the points. There, they're there. And once you do that, it actually updates it live in your project. In the clip trimmer, you can go from clip to clip by using these buttons. This goes to the previous one and this goes to the next one. So there's no clip clip after this clip. This is shaded out. So you can go to the previous clip and apply a similar effect. Like for example, if we select something here, it was like the same amount of time on the other clip. But for now, we just want to do this. We press done. And our trimmings were applied. Thank you for watching this iMovie tutorial. To see my other iMovie tutorials, please click on the video above. Subscribe to me so you can see future iMovie videos. If you have any questions or have an iMovie tutorial request, put it in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video.